So it's been about two weeks since my last video. Um, and in those two weeks, I've just been pretty much dossing around these laybys. Um, I mentioned before that I was going to check a few of them out. And uh, I'm loving them, <laughs> you know. Um, I did say in my last video that I was looking for some van life. Um, although in the laybys there are some vans um, and there's a lot of you know HGV lorries and things. Um, not really seen any van life, um, or I've just not seen anyone coming out of their vans um, because I'm still seeing you know there's solar panels and there's someone in there. I know there's someone in there, um, but I'm not exactly going to go knocking on their van and being all like you know, hey, you live in your van too. <laughs> that could start some sort of dodgy dogging situation, which I would like to avoid. Like I said, also in the laybys, there's a bunch of HGV lorries. Um, I've seen a few of those get out and cook um, barbecue, like, you know, portable barbecues, and they've just, like, cooked on the side of the road and that. So that brings me on to my topic today. Um, in one of my videos, I got a comment from a YouTuber who asked me to mention his name on um, on my channel, so, so I will. Uh, he goes by the name uh, What Will <coughs> Do Next. Um... Definitely check him out. He's got a really good YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. His name is What Will Colin Do Next? And uh, yeah, he has got a good YouTube channel. Uh, he has a van, although I don't think he's like full-time van life. Um, you know, he goes around in his van uh, to nice like villages and stuff. Uh, he does. Uh, he's got good drone shots uh, and he's got a wicked motorbike, which I'm actually pretty jealous of. Um, because one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to get my bike licence. Well, two problems with that is <laughs> I got nowhere to put a bike, so yeah, that's a bit that's a bit useless. I mean, I could get my licence and not get a bike, but you know, <laughs> I'm on a motorbike. Um, and two, uh, what what are we in now? Like April, mid April. It's going to be May soon. Um, so we're basically. We're basically halfway through the year already. Since I hit 30, life is flying, mate. It is flying. You know, I'm 31 now. I'll be 32 by the end of the year. And that's only, what, like six, seven months away. Everything's just going too fast, you know. And the pandemic took two years of everyone's life. So I'm still classing myself as 29. You're not taking that from me. I'm 29 still. Um, although mentally, I'm probably, you know, still bloody... 15 but pff, you know pff, whatever anyway i digress there going back to colin uh he left a comment in one of my videos i think it was like two videos ago now or, or something um and he mentioned a recipe that he eats uh because i think he said he's uh well, i should really look at the comment and be more professional and know what i'm talking about but you know pff, i ain't got time for that i think he said he is a lorry driver and when he's out in the lorry doing overnight stays uh, he eats this uh, recipe that he, he's made or made up or maybe it's an ancient lorry tradition and uh, he is now passing it on to me. Who knows? Um, but yeah, he said uh, it's it's this recipe where you just get loads of canned shit and you just throw it all in a pot and, and he eats it and he says it's delicious. Uh, so seeing that I'm living that trucker life and I'm parked up with all these HGV lorries every night, um, I thought I'd give it a go. Traditional trucker meal suggested by an actual trucker. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to make it in the van. Um, I think I've uh, sort of pushed my luck with that a couple of times. Um, sort of playing with death there. Uh, because if something was to catch on fire in my front seat, I don't have anything to put it out. Like, literally now, if something was to happen, like a fire, I've got... I mean, I've got this, but it's it's empty, so... Yeah, maybe, maybe, stop, maybe stop cooking on the front seat because, you know, if my van sets on fire, that's it. <laughs> I'm screwed. So I'll find somewhere that I can park in a lay-by and maybe cook on the side door like I used to. Um, you know, the, the weather's better now. It's not raining or anything. So, uh, yeah, I can do that. All right. Off work. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Um, I haven't eaten much today at work because I was uh, saving myself for the meal um, because it sounds like it's going to be a pretty hearty meal. Um, I've already been to Sainsbury's and I picked up everything that I'm going to need. 
the only thing that I couldn't get was a can of potatoes with a wind pull uh, because I don't have a can opener. I tried to buy one, but they didn't have any in the shop. So I'm gonna have to do my best to try and get into the can. But if not, I'm just gonna have to make it without potatoes. But I'm sure it'll still be good either way. Um, I'm just on my lookout now for a quiet lay-by that I can set up. Okay, before I decide to set up anything, I'm gonna see if I can open this can of potatoes. There we go, I've got a knife thing. This could end up really bad. Who knows? Is that a can opener? Tragic, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just use brute force. Yeah! We do it. All right. Now what? So I've made a hole, and it's all water in it. <laughs> no, I hate it. <laughs> right. After a long battle, I finally got a big enough hole that I can probably scoop, scoop some potatoes out. <laughs> so let's go cook this thing. So thick it won't come out. Gross. Well, everything seems to be hot, so I guess it's done. Let's serve it up. Ta da! Um, I don't know if I've done it justice. It does look a bit like sick, but hopefully it tastes a bit better. A traditional trucker's dish. Okay, okay. It actually tastes a lot better than it looks. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of something my uh, nan used to make when she was alive. Um, you know, like after school dinners, like really hearty, potatoy, I think it's those canned peas that are really giving it that old school kind of like taste. But I think the saving grace is going to be, I remembered to buy a crusty roll. Oh yes. See what you got to do is you got to scoop out the bread to make yourself a little cup. Oh yeah. I have a bit of that. Ooh. Oh yes. Jumped in the van, it's starting to get a bit chilly now. Um, I think I'm gonna add a bit of seasoning. Don't mean to break the recipe, but it needs a bit of kick for my liking. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, now it's just even better. <laughs> Boom. Need some hot, need some hot spice in there. Mmm. It's really good. I mean, my ass is probably gonna hate me tomorrow. To go along with my pie, I bought myself a pow ow, non-alcoholic, obviously. Uh, I thought this would complement tonight's dish pretty well. Oh, 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 mmm, meat and owl, how can you go wrong? 
you're probably gonna get some people in the comments going, that's not a real owl, it's zero alcohol. Well, when you live in your, when you live in your van, it's not worth the risk. Not worth the risk. Hmm. It gets better with every bite. Well, thank you, Colin, for the um, suggestion. If anyone else has their own crazy recipes that they do when they're living in their van, you know, could be custard on toast, bloody Marmite on your bloody tandoori chicken, whatever, let me know. Because I'm always looking for things to do. Ah, cheers. <laughs>